if someone heard you talking to this thing? She's new here. I accidentally hit her with a ball, so I'm just making sure she's okay. Okay, and she's still a nerd. She should be grateful that you even hit her. That's the closest thing she'll ever get to someone like us. Let's go. After you. Is this Mrs. Hill's American? American history, yes. I'm Mrs. Hill. You must be Talia. Uh, why don't you take a seat? There's one in the back. Yeah. Everybody welcome Talia. I'll be right back. Talia the train wreck. That has a nice tune to it. <laughs> and look at those pits. I guess they don't have deodorant on your planet. Did you airdrop it? Mm -hmm. Paper towel, girl. <laughs> Why did you do that? It wasn't me, it was Callie. Why do you care? What's so funny? You're not embarrassed to sit next to Paper Towel Girl? <laughs> I'm already embarrassed. I live in this town with all these fools. You're immediately more interesting than everyone else here because you don't originate in this petri dish of a town. <laughs> Look, at the end of the day, the only important opinion of you is yours. So be confident in yourself. My aunt, she owns a salon and that's how she reminds all of her clients when they want to go in for a new look, but someone gives a differing opinion about it. Mm. I'm not so sure. I don't think that highly of myself anyways. Well, I already like you more than I like most people. Trevor. <laughs> Paper towel girl. <laughs> My friends call me Talia. Talia! As a welcome to the class, perhaps you could help us begin. Last week we started with the discussion of the New Deal. Are you aware of the New Deal? Um, I believe you're referring to the series of programs, reforms, and regulations enacted by FDR in the U.S. around the Great Depression. I think it was between 1933 and 1938. It appears you don't think. You know. Very good. Welcome to the class. Wow. Big surprise. It turns out she's a total nerd. Nothing better to do than study this garbage. What a loser. Talia, how was your first day? What'd you learn? You didn't learn anything? I'm a total nerd and no one likes me. Well, I knew that already. I guess I learned I shouldn't have hope thinking things might change. Talia, it's been one day. If you want things to change, you gotta give it more time than that. And young lady, you are not a nerd. Just have to do your best to be more positive. Maybe get out more and do stuff and not be glued to that beneath the Dragon of Thrones just Dragon City, Dad. <laughs> and you know I'm trying to get enough gems to get the new Scarlet Darmian dragon. Of course. I'm just gonna go to my room. All right. All right, baby. Uh, you can take it. Thank you. No way! Sailor Moon? Did you draw that? I love that series. Did you know that it was inspired by the, the Power, Power Rangers? Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, could you keep this between us? My love for anime is like a secret identity. Uh-huh, yeah, sure. But why does it have to be a secret? Tally, come here. 
Why are you talking to Trevor? We were just talking about what an amazing person you are, Hannah. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. Let's go. Need a place to sit? Hey, uh, is your head okay? Sorry again about the football and also about that photo going around. I don't think that apology needs to come from you. I owe you both an apology. I'm sweating again. It's okay. So tell me, what's your best dragon? I mean, I've got a bunch of legendary ones. Plus some YouTubers, too. No way. You have the Darman Dragon? And the Super Darman Dragon? So do I! I'm just trying to get enough gems for the new Scarlet Darman Dragon! <laughs> Maybe you two should battle sometime. You know, to see who's better. <sighs> Are you going to sit with me, or did you get stuck in this sweaty abyss? Do yourself a favor and dry yourself off. You stink. <sighs> Come on, Jared. Let's go before I completely lose my appetite. Did I ever tell you about that dream I had? About her face melting? Stupid hyperhidrosis. Had a girl. I don't know what that word means, but hey, whatever you want to call Hannah. <laughs> no, it's what I have. I sweat a lot when I'm nervous. Everyone sweats when they're nervous. There's no way to fix it? There's treatments, I guess. But what's the point? I'm still gonna look gross and feel like a total loner. This is my life forever. Not necessarily. For your midterm projects, I will be assigning you partners. Uh, Trevor and Callie, you'll be working together. Uh, Talia and Jared. And uh, uh, Mrs. Hill, I think I should be working with Jared. I mean, we just look better together. Hannah and Dexter. I picked the names out of a hat. Uh, but Mrs. Hill, I really- Don't argue with me. Argue with fate. You can argue with fate, Pookie. Just go with it. <laughs> ah! <gasps> okay, you're pretty smart, but the real question is, are you as good at Dragon City as you are at school? <laughs> is that a challenge? <sighs> no, you can take that. Uh, maybe. After I destroy you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Pulling my Super Darman Dragon, here we go. I guess I don't play as much because I want to be the perfect boyfriend for her, but I do love them. I mean, my grandpa and I would play games all the time. <clears throat> Before he passed away. But <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I usually never open up like this. No, it's okay. I'm glad you're opening up. Anyways, that's enough about me. What brings you to Bookside? Uh, trauma. It's kind of a long story. You see, at my old school, people made fun of the way I looked. My unibrow, my style, stuff like that. I could never figure out how to look cool or do makeup or anything. I grew up with a single dad, so that didn't help either.
And of course, there was my sweating problem. And people really started making fun of me then. That's when I really got into video games, and I also started studying a lot. Basically, things I could do alone. I kind of hold myself up, like a hermit, hating myself. I crushed my dad seeing what I was going through. So eventually he moved me to Bookside thinking it'd be a fresh new start. But he was wrong. So you see, that's how I ended up here. Well, regardless of what people think, you seem pretty awesome to me. And I like the way you look. Besides, I'm sure plenty of pretty girls would have unibrows if they didn't do something for them. <laughs> Jared, honey, Hannah's on the phone. Hey, Hannah. <laughs> Hello? I called you 20 times. Why don't you answer the phone when I call? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! That's a killer Hanji. <laughs> I see you like Attack on Titan. It's one of my faves. <laughs> oh, you're throwing a birthday party? Am I invited? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You know, you should start doing cosplay again. I'm serious. You're clearly talented. I love cosplay and anime, but Hannah does it, and I don't know what she thinks, so. Who cares? If you like it, so do it. And for what it's worth, I think you look really good in it. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Thank you. Very good, Lionel and Jillian. Thank you. And next we have... Talia and Jared. You're gonna be great. Um, our project is concerning President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. You're doing great. Don't worry. Um, the New Deal was developed after the Great Depression swept across the United States. <laughs> Looks like the Great Perspiration. Do you need some paper towels, Talia? Stop it, Hannah. Oh my goodness, are you all right, Talia? That's okay. I'll go get you some paper towels. Paper Talia. <laughs> <laughs> Paper Talia! 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 Stop it! That's enough! I said that's enough! Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, we set up a prank, but it wasn't to spread chaos. So, um, notice you've been kind of down since you came home from school. You want to tell me what happened? No, I'd rather not. But I would like to talk about maybe being homeschooled. Homeschooled? Mm hmm Okay, yeah, um... I care enough about your education to know that I would not want to put that responsibility solely on me. 
Brookside is a great school, so they're saying. Uh, maybe, but some of the kids there are jerks. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. So you got uh, trouble again from these kids? It's another girl. Look, um, you can't let these girls get underneath your skin. You don't understand, Dad. You don't know what it's like to not have any friends. I get it. Hello. Hi, uh, sir. I'm a friend of Talia's. Just wondering if she was around. Friend of Talia's? <laughs> well, Talia, you have a friend here to see you. Come on in. <laughs> friend. <laughs> um, I will uh, let you two uh, have some space, all right? Here, come sit. <sighs> Just wanted to see how you were doing. Oh, old paper Talia. Don't call yourself that. I don't know. I like it more than train wreck. Callie invited us to her birthday party. <sighs> I think Jared will be there. Yeah, with Hannah. Between you and me, I think he's kind of got a little sick of her. Wonderful. I'm sure that'll put Hannah in a great mood, and she'll be that much nicer to me. Look, you can't let a nasty piece of plastic like Hannah ruin your life. She's doing a great job so far. Talia, you shouldn't worry about what others think of you. You should only care what you think of yourself. What if I don't think that much of myself? Then you should think a little more of yourself. A lot more. Because... I think you're pretty amazing. I don't get how you do it. You're so confident. You don't care what anyone thinks. Were you always like that? Oh, no. Definitely not. Definitely not. Let me show you something. <sighs> Everyone at school used to call me Bucky because of my teeth. I hated going to school. I wanted to drop out. <laughs> Can you imagine a middle school dropout? And I remembered, the most important opinion of yourself is your own. And I reminded myself to, to be confident in who I was. I'm a smart guy. I mean, I, I always was. And I thought about it. I mean, my, my teeth weren't going to be bucky forever. I was just growing up, changing. And I was proud of the person I was becoming. I got braces, a new haircut, and I started dressing the way I wanted to instead of the way everyone else was. And I didn't do it to impress anyone. I did it for me. Look, I understand what you're going through because I went through it too. And it's okay if you don't have it all together. But it's more important to be confident in who you are as a person. I know you'll have it together. Someday. What day is that? Because I'm not even sure what I should be confident about. Well, it's not your memory, that's for sure. Because how could you have forgotten how smart you are? And though cool is subjective, I think you're extremely. And how could you forget? You're a beast at video games. <sighs> it's crazy to say, but maybe you're right. <laughs> yeah. You are right. <laughs> Thanks for the talk, Trevor. <laughs> I'll go to the party. Yes. But first... I
Well, hello. You must be Trevor. Kelly showed me a pic. She can't stop talking about you. <laughs> and you are Paper Talia? Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I don't mean it just you're absolutely beautiful. Oh, come in. Everybody's here. Wow, Talia. I almost didn't recognize you. You look great. You smell amazing. Like the first morning snow, so fresh and clean. <laughs> Talia. Wow. You look great too. <laughs> Trevor, you came. Happy birthday. Well, oh, thank you. You drew this? This is amazing, thank you. Okay, so serious question. When am I getting my Dragon City rematch? I've been training up my dragons. Jared, who is this? No way. Paper Talia. Stop calling me that. Okay, okay, why don't you two just calm down? Uh, I can get you something to drink. A couple of LaCroix? Sure, why not? Great. You know, just because you change your look doesn't make you any less cringe. You just went from one version of cringe to a whole other. Nobody dresses like that. <laughs> <laughs> this loser is here too? Oh, Callie, what is Trevor and Paper Talia doing at your party? I invited him, plus one. We need to talk now. Okay, spill the tea. Why is everyone acting total stranger things? I mean, Paper Talia thinks she's all that? Jared, he can't stop talking about, like, stupid video games. And here you are, hanging out with anime geek Trevor. Hey, hey, look, look. I know it's your birthday or whatever, but if you weren't my friend, nobody would be here. Any reputation that you have is because of me. So you need to be careful with who you invite and who you are seen with. And you need to remember that you are nobody without me. Not that it really matters anyway. I mean, everybody at Bookside is a basic loser. I mean, you have me, who's great and fantastic, and you just have varying degrees of average. I mean, even Jared? He's just something to occupy my time until I go to college. And you're not a real friend. You're more like a decoration. So try not to make me look bad because heaven knows I make you look good. What are you doing here? Get out! I said get out! You need to tell her to leave. But first, fix your makeup. You look terrible. Have you seen Callie? Stop looking at Talia. I mean, what's wrong with you? Everybody at Bookside is a basic loser. I mean, you have me, who's great and fantastic, and you just have varying degrees of average. I mean, even Jared? He's just something to occupy my time until I go to college. Stop playing that! Talia, I know you did this. Uh, I wish I did, but actually it wasn't me. 
And after hearing that audio, I'm clearly not your only enemy. Oh, well, if it wasn't you, then who did it? You were the only person who heard us talking. I did it. And I fixed my makeup. Are you sure about that? Because you look ridiculous. How did you get that audio? My mom. She's been recording the party for me and caught it. And caught you. I'm done being put down. Okay, I like cosplay and anime, just like Trevor. And I like Trevor. And I like the way I look right now. It's, it's not ridiculous, it's... Fierce. Yeah, it's fierce. Why would you do this to me? I used to be a dorky kid who loved anime. Then you bullied me so much, I reinvented myself so I could be popular, like you. But tonight, I finally realized it wasn't worth it. Because I didn't like the person I became. I like cosplaying anime, not cosplaying Hannah. And I definitely didn't like bullying people. <sighs> Whatever. Come on, Jared. Let's get out of here. This party's full of losers. Let's go to a place where we can win. Jared, come on. You go on ahead without me, Anna. If you're a winner, I'm not interested in the game you're playing. What are you saying? I'm breaking up with you. I'm done being told who I should be and how I should act. I deserve better. Better than me? <laughs> Who's better than me? Paper Talia. Just because you had a little makeover doesn't change the fact that you're still a nerdy weirdo. You know, I don't care what you think of me, Hannah. Because as someone helped me realize, the only opinion of you that matters is your own. I've learned to be more confident in myself, and that requires absolutely no validation from you. Oh, whatever. Let's party. Yeah. <laughs> Her. I'm finally gonna. Yeah. What? Since when do you have the Scarlet Darman Dragon? <laughs> so much for your revenge. <laughs> Can't I just have one?